Walmart sponsor from StormSurf.com. And here's the surf forecast for the Hawaiian Islands, the week starting Friday, July 29th. Brought to you by your surf authority, expert advice, and friendly staff, Hawaiian South Shore. And be sure and smash the like and subscribe button. You'll get automatic notifications when the video is posted each week. First off, we're going to take a look at the jet stream. These winds are up about 30,000 feet. They help support the formation of gales. When those gales form, help direct their track. We're looking for a trough, a push in the jet to the north, right here in the southern branch of the jet stream. We really don't see it. There's a bit of a push here, but all this is over ice. This is Antarctica down here, New Zealand here, Australia here, way far south. The jet's over at the Ross Ice Shelf and Antarctic ice, offering no support for gale development. As we get into Saturday, a bit of a trough tries to organize, and that would help create a clockwise flow aloft and down at the ocean surface. That's the hallmark of low pressure, and low pressure, if it's strong enough, generates winds. Winds, if they're strong enough, they get traction on the ocean surface and generate seas. Seas, as they radiate away from the fetch area, turns into swell, and swell, when it hits your beach, turns into surf. But Again, we don't really see any meaningful troughs. We're out to Monday, the 1st of August. Still, really nothing. The jet running right along the ice line, and that continues as we get into Wednesday. And the jet starts pushing south on Thursday, deep over Antarctic ice, and that's pretty much it. A bit of a trough theoretically forecast in the central South Pacific, but the model's very unstable, more than about four days out. Don't believe this. We don't believe it. We will have to wait and see what develops. Next up, surface level pressure, surface level winds. We don't really expect to see a whole lot here if the jet stream isn't supporting it. We're into Sunday, the 31st of July. A little bit of a gale, but it's pretty much over Antarctic ice. Another partial gale tries to organize, but all fetch aimed due south. No hope there. We're into Monday. Now, this is a storm with 50 to 55 knot winds. All fetch again aimed inland and into Antarctica and out of the Hawaiian swell window. Now we're into Wednesday and Thursday and maybe here's that gale supported by a trough here. But again, we don't believe it. Another gale a week out forecast under New Zealand. All its fetch aimed south. So no help there. But it's not all doom and gloom. We're going back in time to Friday, the 22nd of July. A little gale developed southeast of New Zealand with maybe 26-foot seas. It faded. Swell from that is in the water, already hitting the Hawaiian Islands. There is surf on the south shore. And then another gale built right behind that on Sunday, the 24th of July, with up to 32-foot seas right there, the highest seas over the entire domain, and lifting pretty well to the north. Swell from that is on its way to the Hawaiian Islands. And then secondary fetch built into Monday night and Tuesday, the 26th of July, then faded out. And then after that, things quieted down. Now looking forward, today, Friday the 29th, we know not a whole lot is expected. Ice line, look where it is, pretty far to the north, almost up to 60 south uh, during Earlier in the season, the ice line was down around 70. That cuts off almost 600 nautical miles of open ocean to support storm development. If the winds can't get purchase on the ocean surface, they can't generate waves. And with a bunch of ice there, that's not helping. So we get into Tuesday, the 2nd of August. Really no support. A little bit of fetch, you know, uh, 24, 25 foot seas. Maybe good for background swell. So all hope is not lost. But nothing of significant size forecast. That gale is east of the Hawaiian swell window. And here we are out to Friday night, the 5th of August. Maybe a gale developing. We saw that on the jet stream. We've seen it on the other charts. We don't quite believe it yet, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. All right, so let's put it all together. Right now, there is swell hitting the south shore. Uh, waves, pretty decent size, actually, bigger than expected from a gale, the second in a series in the central south Pacific. On Saturday, energy from yet a third gale in the central south Pacific is to be arriving, building to 2.8 feet at 14 seconds. That's fairly early. That would be three and a half feet to four foot Hawaiian, so maybe two foot overhead at top spots, maybe even a little bit more, pretty solid surf. Sunday, that swell starts fading some from 2.2 feet at 13 seconds early. That's two and a half to three foot Hawaiian. Let's say a foot overhead at top spots. 
Monday, the swell continues down from 1.9 feet at 12 to 13 seconds, or about 2 to 2.5 two foot Hawaiian, let's say chest to head high, something like that. And then background swell arrives on Tuesday, the 2nd of August, 2 feet at 14 seconds. So that'd be 2.5 to 3 foot, let's say head high, maybe even a little bit overhead. And Wednesday, that swell fading at 1.6 feet at 13 seconds, or 2 feet, we'll say waist to chest high, something like that. And then things quiet down, maybe some background energy after that. So for right now, good swell is in the water, and more is expected for the weekend. Go make the most of it. Be careful and choose your brakes correctly, and assess your level of skill before you get yourself into trouble. But for everyone else, good solid surf expected, and then size slowly fading through the week, becoming better for beginners and intermediates, for learning and developing skill. All right, that's it for this week. We'll do this again next week, same time, same channel, and be sure to do all your shopping at Hawaiian South Shore.